In today's video, we're going to be breaking down what I thought was the best offensive performance by all of the competitors last night in the Madden Club Championship uh, NFC East playoffs. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on uh, giving you guys Madden 21 tips and tricks that you can apply to your own game, um, whether it be from my game or from other people's games, that can help you get better. This is all about learning and labbing in film study. And so what we're going to do today is we are taking a look at what I thought was just an amazing performance by TNC's Fancy. Now, we know, we all know that um, if you've been around the Madden community for any length of time, you know that Fancy is kind of like, um, I would say, the Dan Marino of the Madden community, right? He's one of the best players, in my opinion, that have yet to win a belt and really yet to make a super big splash in the MCS live events. And he has a big-time matchup here against Kerry Q, um, which was basically a rematch from a Friday night football matchup that he had with him just a week ago. And uh, real quick, here's some of his statistics. But the offensive playbook he's going to be running with is the uh, is the Raiders playbook. Now, I have the Patriots playbook loaded up in-game because it's very, very similar to the Raiders playbook. There's a couple minor differences, but I do believe kind of – I if I was running – his offense trips tight end. I would re actually recommend the Patriots playbook for it, unless you're going to be audibling down. And obviously, he does want to have that audible down function, and so he is able to do that really, really effectively from the Raiders playbook. Now, we're going to get into his offense and why he was so successful. We're going to break down his offense play by play. So I'm really, really excited to share this video with you guys. Um, and we're going to basically go through exactly what happened now. Um, we actually saw a li very limited amount of his offense, in my opinion. Um, his offense is just so deep. It has so many concepts to it. Um, and Fancy does a really, really good job of keeping this amazing and very, very powerful trips tight end offense very, very simple. So uh, what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to kind of bounce in between practice mode and this gameplay. And we are going to break down what Fancy was doing, why he was doing it, and what you can learn about it and implement it even into your own trips tight end scheme or you can even implement some of these concepts into your own scheme in general so uh, real quick what we're going to do is we're going to just come out here and we're going to break this down uh, coming out first and 10 now what you're going to notice is that carry q is in this nickel three through five wide formation you see here you got the linebackers here he's shifting his line to the left side every single time now what you're going to see from fancy is he loves to run inside zone and he loves to run inside zone in a very special way. What he likes to do here is he basically likes to do this little cut back and essentially turn this into a halfback counter. So you're going to see that right here. He's going to try to cut it, cut it right back over here. Makes a great one cut back to the right side of the screen. He's going to cut it right up the, meal, uh, right up the uh, middle right here and off to a pretty good start here. First and 10 with a nice little 5-yard, 6-yard scamper uh, up the middle of the field. So he's going to go to that several times throughout this game. But what you'll notice is one of his key passing plays, and we're going to break this down here uh, in just a second, is this play curl flat. Now you notice here that Kerry Q is going to a basic zone rush here out of the curl, out of the nickel 55 wide. So this is basically a three deep, three under zone blitz. And Fancy is just going to run the simple curl flat concept. He's got the flat from this left side guy. He's got a curl route from the outside guy right here. And then over the middle, he may have some different things. He may have a slant route and a, a post route. What I like is this little block and release angle route. And we're going to break this play down in, to, in uh, practice mode for you in just a second. But what I wanted to do, and he does end up throwing this ball away, but I wanted to show you, and I want to jump over to practice mode and show you this was what I believe to be uh, probably one of his favorite passing concepts. So the play is curl flat from the trip side end. And all he's going to do oftentimes is he's simply going to smart route his tight end. And then he is going to smart route his left of screen inside receiver, basically creating this very, very simple concept. From that point right there, um, he can do several different things. One of the things that he'll do is he'll just run it just like this. And you'll see that he'll just kind of make some reads, make some easy reads right over the middle of the field. Another thing that he will tend to do is he will basically turn this into um, effectively a flood concept on the right side of the screen. As you can see right here, we're going to motion the wide receiver over. And he'll use this as a nice little zone beating concept. Maybe even hit this tight end streak right up the seams 
or he'll hit this corner route uh, that he has now created from the trips tight end formation. And you'll see him go to this again and again. But what makes this play so effective, in my opinion, is not only does he have the nice little routes and the nice route combinations over the middle of the field, but he has this really, really great little check down concept to the curl flat concept on the backside. And you'll see him go to this over and over again. But anyways, this is going to bring up, um, I think, a third down situation in the game right here. Uh, it's going to be third and four. And he's going to go to curl flat again. Now, let me pull my notes up from this game. But what you'll see he, he does right here is he runs that basic flood concept. So he's going to take the tight end, put him on a streak. He's going to smart route this post route. Now, I did a video on smart routing post routes and why it helps. It helps these post routes beat man-to-man -man coverage. So right here on this play, you see uh, Kerry, he actually has the curl wide open here. Um, steps up in the pocket with Favre. I want to see him hit the curl route right here. Ends up trying to scramble and basically takes a one-yard loss sack. It's going to be, or two-yard loss. It's going to be fourth and six. Now, this is a key play in the game, and I want to break down kind of what Fancy uh, really goes to here. And This is a great I think it's just a phenomenal route combination. You saw a lot of people um, in the tournament last night using this route, and I want to break down why it's so effective. So what you're going to see is Fancy's going to go. Um, he, he's actually going to call a timeout here. But what he's going to do is he's going to go to Trips tight end, and he's going to go to the play inside cross. Now, inside cross has a uh, basically a deep post route that is really, really effective uh, for beating man-to-man -man coverage, but it's also effective in two different ways. One of the ways it's effective is obviously just running the post route. Um, another way that it's really, really effective, though, is whenever you motion this thing to the left side of the screen. So what you're going to see here, Fancy's coming out. He's got a fourth and six. Now watch right here. Here's your route combination. Very, very simple, and I just want to show it to you right, uh, right here. So this is inside cross, right? And what you're going to see here is that this receiver is on a smart routed post route, but when you motion it over, it's going to become a corner route. So he's going to go on this route trajectory right here. The next thing that he's got is he's got this right of screen middle slot receiver being a flat zone. Um, this is going to pull down routes for this tight end post because he's running a tight end apprentice. It's going to pull down those zones so that he can hit that post route over the middle of the field. He also has a nice little backside slant coming this way with a flat combination. And what you're going to see right here is absolutely, absolutely just a laser. He has everything open right here. I mean, he, he could hit the running back and just rat catch it up and get a first down. He could probably even hit this post route once it gets over these zones. Um, Kerry drops everybody back in coverage. What you see, your man coverage on the outside with the purple zones. He gets that step over the top with that 90-plus deep route running. He's able to get that, lob it over and he is off to the races for a one-play touchdown. Now, let me show you over into practice mode exactly what is going on on this play. So we're going to jump over here um, into practice room, and let me just jump back over here into uh, gameplay so you can see this, this play unfold in real time. But basically, again, this is inside cross, and what, carry, or, uh, what Fancy is going to do is he's going to take this outside guy. He's going to smart route him. He's got this post coming over the middle. He's got the flat route here, flat route here, and then a slant coming underneath. And we'll show you the route combination practice mode. But basically what's going to happen, he's going to motion that post over. He's going to smart route it. And what you'll see is that man-to-man -man coverage can't handle that. And he not that 90-plus deep route running. He's able to put it in the bucket, drop the ball right in the bucket, and get the one-play score. Now let's go over to practice mode and talk a little bit about this specific play. Now this was gun trips tight end flipped. And again, the play was inside cross. Now, I personally prefer Pat's YN. It's a similar uh, concept, but we'll just show it to you from inside cross. And all we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to just smart route Mike Evans' route. When you smart route these post routes, you see it's going to kind of narrow them. It's going to help them beat man-to-man -man coverage when people are running man-to-man -man coverage on you. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that inside slot receiver, which would be Chris Godwin, or, um, in, or I'm sorry, the middle slot receiver. We're going to put him on a flat zone or a flat route. The tight end, we're going to put him on a post route. The running back, we're going to put him on a flat route because Fancy had backfield master in this game. Miller, we're going to put him on a slant to the left side. And then we're just going to motion Mike Evans over. Now, I want to set the defense up a little bit like Kerry Q had it. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to blitz two people. We're going to drop our purples right in the air. And then we're going to basically drop a hook curl. Now, what this is really good for is a lot of people that run the meta coverages will run a deep 
a deep middle third, but they won't run a deep middle half, right? So if they're running that meta coverage, now he is shading coverage over top, but what I want to show you is when you motion this route over to the left side, especially if you have really high deep route running like Fancy does in this game, he's going to basically get over that. It's a lob pass up, click on, and a swerve catch over the top, and you're going to get over the top of the defense. Now, what I also want to show you is the other check down reads that Fancy actually had at his disposal on this specific play. He had pretty much um, multiple things that he could do. Now, this post route to the tight end held the uh, the user from carry. And so carry, because he had the user over the middle of the field, he really wasn't anticipating this route to Mike Evans beating man-to-man -man coverage. I think he thought that he was going to be able to stop it. But another thing that Fancy could have done is he could have hit that route to Scotty Miller, that slant route for a simple check down read as well uh, with the coverage adjustments that Kerry Q had. He actually also was not covering the running back. So uh, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about here. So basically what we had was we had something effectively like this combination right here. Um, basically taking away the middle of the field pretty well, taking away the slant routes pretty well. The only problem was the left side of the field was very, very open. Fancy ends up, ends up making a phenomenal play call in this situation. And like I said, he would have had two windows that he could have hit it. He could have hit that. Obviously, he hit that corner out. He could have also hit this route right here and just got the first down, but uh, ends up going for the one-play score over top and jumps on top. Uh, seven to zero. So a really, really good start uh, for Fancy on this specific play. And uh, he's going to get out, and now he's going to get his defense on the field. And Fancy's defense played uh, played really, really, really good this game. I felt like, you know, I, I watched the Friday night football matchup with him and Kerry, and his defense did not, um, in my opinion, it did not show up as much as it did in this game. And he played some phenomenal defense. But really the, the story of this game was his ability to consistently get these offensive stop or offensive scores, uh, and specifically these just absolute lasers against the uh, against the coverages that Kerry Q was running. Now he's going to come out here his second drive. He's feeling probably pretty good right now. He held Kerry carry to three um but he's going to come out here in his second drive and you're going to see more of the same uh it's just simple offensive reads right here but basically he's going to come out he's going to run the curl flat play once again and on the curl flat play uh this time he's going to make a little bit of an adjustment he's going to put that tight end on a simple out route right here and then he is going to uh smart route the left screen receiver actually i'm sorry this is x spot i do want to talk about this play right here so X spot is kind of one of his key plays um, that New England doesn't offer, but New England can offer something that's very similar to X spot, uh, and I can show you, and we'll show you that in practice mode here in just a moment. But what you're going to see here is basically a nice little streak up the seam right here, a tight end crossing route in combination with a post route on this side. And if you take a look here, again we got a streak to the slot on the left, we got a a, a wheel route to the back a drag route from this left side guy, a crossing route to the tight end, and a post route here uh, from this X spot. So basically the only reason that he's calling this play is for the post route to that slot receiver uh, coming across. So what you're going to see right here, uh, as you can see, Kerry Q drops coverage. He could have hit the running back quick, could have hit the drag quick, but what he notices here is this, um, this crossing route is going to come open. He's able to hit it in that window and get him for a big dot. Now let's jump over to practice mode and kind of show you uh, what happens. So this is gun trips tight end, and we're going to show it to you from PA slot corner. Uh, again, I think this is you know a, a very similar version to what Fancy was running, and um, pretty much what what Carey was doing was basically just a simple cover three uh, was what was what he was doing on this specific play. And what you're going to see here is all we're going to do is we're going to take our tight end and we're going to put him on a crossing route. We're going to take that left of screen slot. We're going to throw him on a streak. We're going to wheel our running back. That's pretty much the setup right here, as you can see. Um, now, the way that the way that um, the way that fancy was running this, he, you would put uh, Chris Godwin here on a post and then you would take Scotty Miller and throw him up the seam, which you can easily do that as well, especially if you have a slot apprentice or something in Mutt that you can do. But you see, this is the basic route combination right here. Um, and what this is going to do is going to force that user to really make a play. But as you can see, that's kind of the read 
that um, that he was hitting. Now, what's really cool about this route is it gets over um, this crossing route to the tight end, especially from trips tight end, and especially if you have a good tight end. Like, let's say you have, uh, in this example, um, he had Vernon Davis running this route. But let's say you have, you know, a, a tight end that has over, over 85 or over 90 medium route running. This thing is going to torch man and it's going to torch zone. But as you see here, it's going to get over those over those purple zones. And right there, I made a bad pass lead. I, you don't want to pass lead this up unless you're facing certain coverages. You can basically pass lead this open. But essentially, what you're looking at here is you're just trying to um, you're just trying to make your user to you know what's the user going to take? Is he going to take the post route here on the on the left, or is he going to take this tight end crosser? As you can see, that tight end crosser is going to get over uh, most of those zones. So that's another big play for Fantine. Right now, I mean, literally, he's probably missed. I, th I think he's just made one or two uh, incompletions, really. Uh, other than that, has been pretty much perfect. Uh, so what you're going to see now is he's going to go back to that, that play that I was talking about. It's kind of his play. Um, I feel like the, just kind of one of his yard yard gaining plays it's a play that he's going to go to when he just wants to get simple keep it simple keep things rolling and what he does right here is he's going to take his uh this is curl flat again so you've got the flat here you've got the curl here this is a great little check down read and it's going to provide a great horizontal stretch on the defense the next thing he's going to do is he's going to have this little out route right here to the tight end this little baby out route as a nice little quick read is if um, carry was to go to like a man blitz or something like that. And then what he's also got is he's got this uh, receiver on the left or on the right here on a little smart routed post route. Remember, when you smart route those post routes, it's going to help against man to man coverage. So, what you're going to see from Carry Q right here is he's going to go to a zone blitz, a little five man uh, zone pressure out of the nickel 335 wide. And the five man zone pressure is going to leave him vulnerable right over here. And what you're going to see is Fancy is going to execute this play masterfully. Um, basically, carries, carry Q's user is going to take this post route. The running back stays in the block because he's on a block and release pattern. If they blitz, the running back will stay in and block. Perfect job by the running back here. You see, he could have hit this out route, but he does the smart thing, in my opinion, and simply just checks it down over here. You see this curl route coming open. And he just checks it down to the curl route and keeps the drive going. That's why curl flat is so good. And let me just show you uh, in practice mode really, really quickly uh, what he's seen on here. Um, so again, and we're just going to uh, we're going to go grab curl wheel. Now he was on the left hash. Now as a general rule, Fancy will run the trips tight end to the always to the wide side of the field. That's kind of the general uh, consensus on his offense. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip curl wheel. And then we're just going to come out in nickel 335 wide. And the play that Kerry Q was running was this Mike Blitz 3, one of the best zone blitzes in the game. Uh, and what you're going to see is he's going to run this basically like this right here. And then just to kind of, uh, just to kind of um, show you this a little bit, what I want to do, you've got two purples. And then basically Kerry is going to be in the middle of the field. So we're just going to throw him in a hook curl, okay, just to imitate that middle of the field coverage that you're going to get. So uh, this is basically what Fancy did. He took the tight end, he put him on an out route, he smart routed the slot receiver on a little slant, or he left him on this. I think he he might have actually left him on this. I can't remember the exact depth that we saw in the game, but you could do either and be successful. Okay, The smart route is going to work a little bit better against man, in my opinion. If you leave it stock, it's going to work a little bit better against zone, in my opinion. But what you'll see here, the, the, the five-man blitz gets picked up because the running back blocks... And uh, the, the five-man blitz gets picked up because the running back blocks, and then he is basically able to hit his check down, which is this little curl route aggressive catch for, um, for some significant yardage against that zone coverage. Now, uh, here we're kind of, again, hit, Fancy just does a really, really good job, in my opinion, of keeping the offense on schedule. And what you'll see here from Kerry Q, and this is an interesting little uh, chess match that's going to be played throughout the game, and really not much of a chess match as Fancy is just going to, I mean, dominate him, honestly, uh, with this running play. But Kerry Q is, is basically going to have his user right here. The reason he's putting his user right here is because what's going to basically happen in the snap of the ball, if Fancy decides to run inside zone, the run is generally going to run this direction right here. And so what Kerry can do is he can shoot this gap with the safety. 
The problem is the way that Fancy likes to run inside zone is he likes to basically run it here and then basically do a stop and go and wrap him around the right side of the the uh, the, the play here. So what that means for Carry Q's user is oftentimes his user is going to get caught in no man's land. If his user goes to the right, Fancy can run right in the middle. If his user goes to the left, Fancy has a good chance to cut this run out for a big gain. And you're going to see that right here. Fancy's going to go to this inside zone and just watch the stick work. He's going to go to it after this first quarter. Um, and this is one of those plays, like I said, that he's going to use to keep his offense on schedule to keep his offense on schedule. Um, and I think Fancy just did such a great job of that this game. Um, he was just very patient, and and that was what I just admired so much about his game plan. He ran inside zone, I believe it was 11 times. If you're a pass-oriented player and you're choosing to run inside zone 11 times, it means that you have a game plan and it means that you're keeping your offense on schedule. So what you're going to see here, same thing here, carry Q's user is going to go right here. As you can see, it's going to open this. This lane on the right side is completely wide open, and this is part of the the problem in my opinion that trip tight end causes for defenses what you're going to see here this little one cut to the right he's going to get out of there and he's going to step up and really get a good gain i think he ends up, ends up getting 11 yards setting up his next play which is a pa shot wheel now for this play i want to jump over into practice mode after we watch this uh in in game and show you exactly what happens this is going to end up being a laser from from uh, fancy right here now what you're going to see is he's going to put the tight end um he's going to put the tight end on a post route he's going to place his left of screen middle slot receiver right here he's going to go on a flat route because he wants to pull all of these outside zones away so that this post can come open right about in this pocket right here the next thing he's going to do is he's going to place this receiver on a slant coming across and he's going to have his running back as a flat the reason he's doing that is he's given himself kind of some crossing routes that are going to essentially pull the zones if Kerry Q does go to zone. Really what he's trying to do, though, is he's got McLaurin on this little S route right here, and he's going to smart route it. And when you motion over S routes this year, they oftentimes do a good job at getting over the top of man coverage, especially if there's no safety over top. So what you're going to see in this situation, and this was Kerry Q's game plan. He was running a lot of cover one with a deep middle safety to the middle of the field. So Kerry couldn't just run the post route right here because he'd be running it right into safety. Instead, uh, what Fancy does, he motions out the S route, snap of the ball, and what you're going to see here, Kerry Q has him manned up. So this guy's out here, he's manned up. This guy's manned up. You see man coverage across the board. Man coverage across the board, that's the key right here. A little bit of a hybrid coverage on this left side, but generally man coverage with a lot of zone drops. And you're going to see right here that Fancy just throws an absolute dot and really starts to separate himself in this ball game. So we're going to jump over to practice mode. I just want to show you the setup that he was using for this play. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tight end. We're going to put him on a post route. We're going to take the running back, put him on a flat route. And then we're going to take the left of screen middle slot, um, middle slot receiver, so Godwin. We're going to put him on a little flat. And then we're going to take Scotty Miller and put him on a slant. Last step is to smart route Mike Evans. Now, to imitate a little bit of what Kerry Q was doing, this is what you're going to see. Um, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see purple zones from both safeties, right? Very common coverage. You're going to see a hook curl in the middle of the field. You're probably going to see something like this right here. Uh, basically, what we're trying to do is we're cloud covering the middle of the field to try to stop these post routes and these slant routes over the middle. But what that's going to leave wide open, and, and Fancy just makes the perfect read right here, the perfect adjustment. But what this is going to leave wide open is this little S route. I'm just going to pass lead this up once he beats the man-to-man -man coverage. Click on and swerve catch it, and that's going to be an absolute laser against that coverage, just like Fancy was able to get in the game against Kerry Q. So again, what this basically means, and what I want you to get, what I, what I really want you to see here, so that you know for your own game plan, if they are running something like this or a variation of it, where they basically don't have any deep blue safety, I am shading my coverage over top. I am shading my coverage over top, just so you're aware. And what you're going to see from Fancy here is just a phenomenal route combination. 
carries user is going to be held underneath with all these middle zones. What you're going to see is once this route gets to the sideline, pass lead that up, click on, swerve, catch it, and it's going to torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. Fancy goes up top 14-3 to and is really starting to put, um, you know, his offense hasn't been stopped yet. His offense literally has not been stopped yet. PA shot will called at the right time and uh, just, you know, it just hits it, honestly. Uh, so now you're going to see um, Fancy or uh, Kerry Q is going to go back on offense. Kerry Q is going to drive down, uh, but he's going to make a mistake here on this. I think it's this third down right here. You see uh, great coverage from Fancy. Uh, ends up getting uh, a nice little deflected pick. And Fancy's going to get the ball back. So we're going to break down his two-minute. So Fancy's kind of in the two-minute drill right here. He, you know, really, if he if he can get seven, if he can get seven on this drive and go up by three possessions, he's really, I mean, he already is in the driver's seat, but he's really in the driver's seat heading into halftime. So on first and ten, what he's going to go to is, you bet, his simple yard gainer. Curl flat in this situation. And uh, his adjustments, he's going to smart route that corner out on the left side. He's going to place this inside receiver on a simple drag route, and he's going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see here is he's going to check down to the curl route again. Once again, he's keeping Carey's user in the middle of the field. Carey doesn't have enough zones on this outside, and he's able to just pocket, or just hit it over and over again. So that's simple read from curl flat. Now, at this point, uh, Fancy's got plenty of time here. he got three minutes. Um, he's got two timeouts, ball on the 47, and uh, what he's going to go to right here is, again, that simple yard gainer. You're seeing the same formula every single time. You're seeing curl flat, inside zone, some of those easy plays at the beginning of the drive, and same thing right here. You see EM, or, um, Kerry Q's user is going to come to the right, so Fancy should cut this right back to the right here. He does. He makes a phenomenal cut up the field and gets vertical on that one cut, Gets a nice 17-yard gain from inside zone. And now, at this point, what Fancy's got to be thinking about is, how can I get this touchdown without giving the ball back uh, to carry? So what he's going to do is he's going to try to get this to the two-minute warning. So again, another call right here. Now, normally he probably would have went to curl flat, but he ends up going to inside zone. Gets stopped, but that was honestly, it still looked really, really good, and it still looked like it was going to be very effective. Now, right here, he's going to go to verticals, and this is the first time he ran. he's ran this play in the game, and he's really only running it for the tight end corner route. Everything else, he's going to hot route. He's going to put the running back on a wheel, and then he's going to run this nice little simple route combination on this left side of the screen. It's a it's a trips tight end staple. He's going to run a curl route to the inside slot guy. He's going to run a hitch route to the out to the middle slot guy, and he's going to run an out route to this left outside slot guy. So if Carry Q runs any zone coverage, this side is his read. If he runs man coverage, he's probably going to be looking to his tight end, and uh, what you're going to see right here, or his halfback. So what you're going to see from Carry Q, he's going to drop into I believe Tampa two coverage because of this is. And this is why the wheel route's important. Because he's on a wheel route and not a flat route, the cloud flat's going to start jumping back to the corner route. Because of that, carry, or, uh, Fancy's going to be able to hit this little route right here to the running back up for a quick gain. Another, just keeping the offense on schedule, doing a great job of that, not getting themselves in these long yardage situations. So I want to show you this play right here on screen. I'm going to go into my playbook here and grab the verticals concept from the trips tight end. And... Like I said, sometimes you, you run it for the streaks. What what uh, Fancy did, at least in this situation, was ran this play for the simple corner route on the on the right side of the screen. So we'll come out in verticals, and this was his setup. Basically, he took his left side inside slot, put him on a, a curl. He took that left side middle slot, put him on a little zig, or I'm sorry, a little hitch. And then he took that outside guy, put him on an out route take his running back and he put him on this little flat and then he also probably smart routed his tight end so that he goes a little bit deeper against the zone coverage now what you're going to see against the zone here on this left side is you have you have one of those three things if they were in any zone on that left side that's going to be open so for example if they don't play hard flats on that left side um, and you run this concept what you're going to see here's your setup you're going to see that this out route to the uh, receiver will beat that beat that coverage. That out route will also pull every curl flat, every hard flat, every everything that they're going to do to try to get underneath some of these hitches. That will pull those zones out of the way. So then what's going to happen is you're just basically 
pe peppering the left side. Wherever that hook curl goes to, you throw the opposite. It's very simple. Oftentimes, people will use her that side. So you um, need to be careful of that as well when you run this, but that's why you have the other side of the screen. So if they jump to the to the to that side, then you see here, that's what I Fancy did on that one. He just took this simple uh, read to the running back. Basically, if they don't play hard flats on the right side of the screen, or they don't play double flats of some sort on that right side of the screen, you're going to be able to pocket just very easily hit this wheel route. It's like taking a walk in the park. Very, very easy read. Um, and, and you see Fancy do just that. Okay, so let's jump to the next play here. And he's going to go back to his uh, good old-fashioned yard gainer right here. Um, he's just moving the ball down the field. Very, very easy. And in this situation, uh, got two minutes left in the quarter, and he is going to go to, um, I think he's going to go to inside zone, or no, 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 he does go to curl flat right here. So he goes to curl flat right here. He's on the 26-yard line. And what he's going to do is he is going to run that little out cut. He's got his curl flat concept over here, and he's got his post route right in here. And he did smart route this post route so that it basically turns into an angle slant. Watch Kerry Q's user. Kerry Q is going to go 100% on this slant. What it's going to leave is it's going to leave this running back angle route right in behind it. And this running back angle route is going to roast him. Running back angle route roasts man-to-man -man coverage. Kerry Q goes all max coverage, all man coverage. And what you're going to see, see how he's going with that? Because that's a touchdown because of the smart route. Because of the smart route of that post route, it torches that man-to-man -to -man coverage. He's going to beat that. So Kerry Q has to guard that. Otherwise, that's a touchdown. You have the running back coming underneath as it completely torches man-to-man -to -man coverage. And boom, Fancy's got himself in the, in the goal line. Um, for a first down and goal on the seven yard line. Now, uh, Fancy is going to end up scoring here. Not going to really go through this. He just basically runs the ball um, from the Raiders book, stretch alert, look each right here. He should have scored right here. Just bad run stick, in my opinion. I think he even says that on screen. Uh, second and goal, he's going to try to get his fullback dive, and his fullback dive is not going to work. All right, I'm sorry, he went I form tight stretch on that second and goal. Third and goal, he goes fullback dive. Fourth and goal, flips the fullback dive, gets in. And now he's really out in front at this point. He's able to go up by 18 points um, heading into halftime and has really started to, you know, just kind of put himself in a position where it's going to be very difficult for Kerry to come back. Also, primarily because of the way that Kerry runs his offense, right? Kerry runs a ball control, um, you know, more of a slow paced uh, offense. And so, as you can see here now, you know, Fancy really gets out front. Uh, now, Kerry Q does make a big time clock, clock mistake down this stretch right here. What you're going to see is he just doesn't leave himself any options. Ends up big time user rush right there from Fancy, but ends up on this third down. I think he completes a, a route, a, a slant route. He'll complete this route, I think, to Metcalf right here. But what you'll see, you see this clock. There's no way, way for him to stop the clock. Tries to get up and spike it. Not able to do it. Clock runs off, and Fancy's going to get the lead uh, heading into halftime. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump out, and we're going to get into the second half of this game and kind of show you how Fancy just puts this thing on ice with very, very simple uh, route combination. So we're going to back it up to where he gets the ball here um, and goes on this fourth and two. Uh, and what you'll see here is Kerry Q just, I mean, just flat out got a bad throw in my opinion. But what you'll see now, and this is where I think Fancy just continues to play very smart. Uh, what you're going to see him do, you see that, um, again, Kerry Q setting up the same run defense, right? He's going to blitz this guy off the seam, or off this right edge, and he's going to stick to that setup. He ain't going to do anything different. What you're going to see is, well, okay, if you're going to do that, Fancy is going to consistently hit you with this little counter, um, this little inside zone stop and go to the outside, and he does just that right here, able to just kind of weave his way through and get a nice little gain right there. Even though it's only three yards, again, this idea of keeping the offense on schedule and just working the clock right now at this point for Fancy. Very smart play call. And he's actually going to go to it again. Because Kerry Q's user is not going to be able to it's not going to be able to hang with what he can do with this with this. And, and obviously Fancy has labbed this run, has ran this several times. And right here, I mean this this was almost a touchdown. Look at this cut. If he can get a little wider on this cut, and I think he even says it, you'll see his facial expression at the bottom right. But if he can get a little wider on this cut, that's a touchdown. And that's what he was seeing over and over again. And he goes to this run over and over again. And um, 
really forces Kerry Q to have to at least respect the fact that he can go to inside zone at any point and have a really, really good route. Now, right here, he's going to go to X spot. This is the second time he's called this play um, this game. Uh, and with this route combination right here, uh, what he's going to do is he's going to, a little bit more of a simple route combination in my opinion. There's not going to be any motion, but here's the route combo, very simple. We're going to take this left outside guy, put him on the out route. we got the hitch route right here as our check down. So if they're playing, you know, if they're playing outside coverage or over top coverage, we can just check down right here to keep the offense on schedule. We've got a slant and a flat combination on this right, and then we've got a post route to the tight end. And uh, what you're going to see right here is Kerry Q is just not going to play. He's not going to play flats. You see here, Kerry Q is going to blitz everybody on this play. Uh, so literally, he's covering with four people uh, on this play, I guess with five if you count the user. And what that basically means is he doesn't have hard flats. You see here, this guy, this curl flat zone over here. And I believe this right here is a curl flat zone, if not a, maybe a hook curl or something like that. Fancy makes the right read. He takes his check down to the flat. Um, again, throws right at the blitz, hits that check down to the flat, and is able to pick up a critical first down and keep the offense on schedule from X spot. Um, okay, so the next thing he's going to do here is, again, he's going to do a really, really, really good job of keeping his offense on schedule. At this point, you know, for fancy, it's a little bit about clock management. I don't think he's necessarily trying to blow carry Q out. What he's trying to do is he's trying to secure the win here. And so what he's going to do is he's going to go back to that inside zone because, again, it's been a consistent yard gainer for him. Here he's able to make, and this is a phenomenal cut, what you're about to see. Watch this cut to the left this time and just able to weave his way up get a nice four yards he turned a probably a zero yard run into a four yard run here he flips his trip side in he's going to go to that curl flat setup this is where he smart routes that corner route he's got the drag coming underneath he's got that running back coming on that angle route uh, and what you're going to see right here on this is he's going to just simply take a nice little check down he did have the running back open i think he just didn't want to risk throwing at the user and so he's going to take this little check down drag and just possession catch it if you ever worry about the drags i highly recommend possession catching drags it really does help uh with this now in this key situation right here third and four um He's going to go to inside cross again. Now, this is the second time he's called this play. Both times he's called this play, it's been in a key situation in the ball game. Um, and right here, what he's going to do is going to smart route that post route. And then what you're going to see him do is he is going to uh, place this right of screen middle slot receiver on a flat. You see right here, he's going to place this tight end on a flat. He's going to take the HB and he's going to put him on a little angle route. And then he's going to take this player right here and we haven't seen this from him at all yet this game and he's going to place him on a um on a crossing route and you're going to see what happens here carry q is going to bust another coverage um and what you're going to see is um fancy is going to basically take advantage of this so, so snap of the ball and take a look at what we've got going on right here we've got heavy man coverage but we've got these underneath zones you see underneath zone here now right here this is a middle or a deep half. I think it actually is a deep middle zone, but the deep middle zone is not going to play the crosser because it's got to play this post route. You see right here, he's going to the post route. This is a great call by Fancy. He's been seeing this cover one, this cover one, this cover one that Kerry Q is running. Now, Kerry's, Kerry Q's user on this play um, can, cannot get back on this route right here. It's a simple lob ball. He tries to, but he just can't get there. And Fancy lobs this up and seals a amazing offensive display right now uh with the um with the touchdown now let's jump over to practice mode here and show you uh this route setup that he was using uh, so uh basically uh we, we just have to flip the play uh and it was inside cross i'm gonna go to inside cross i'm gonna flip the play and i'm just gonna show you what i believe carry q was doing defensively um he was taking this guy let's see i'm gonna show him a man to man I'm going, to need, I'm going to need to go grab man-to-man uh, -man coverage real quick. But but basically what Kerry Q was doing is he was running essentially cover one. He wasn't running cover two man. He was running cover one. And uh, what you'll see is, and the reason that that's significant, is because of what it allows to be open for Fancy, especially when you have in Mutt really, really good route runners. So Fancy's going to go to this inside cross play, and all he's going to do is he's going to smart or um he's going to smart route the post route 
He's going to take the tight end this time and put him on a flat zone. Most of the time that tight end has been on a post route. And this is part of the chess match. Because now what Kerry Q can't do is he can't just expect the hard flat to be able to stop the running back. A lot of times Kerry Q, what he's going to probably do is he's going to cross man the tight end or he may have a, some, he's going to have some kind of coverage on the tight end. Well, now instead of the tight end being the one that's coming on that post, now it's the running back. And you haven't been expecting that all game because the running back really has only done that one time. And then in this key situation, what you're going to see is he's going to throw that little flat route to Godwin, and then he's going to put this crossing route to Scotty Miller on the field. And this crossing route is going to just do a phenomenal job against this cover one defense. So you see here this right side safety is in this zone right here. He actually ends up going to a hard flat zone on the right side to try to get something going right there and then his user is going to basically be over the middle of the field uh, trying to take away this underneath uh, underneath little angle route to the back because he's trying to carry cues trying to get off the field he's got to get a stop he's got to get back in the game and basically fancy just takes advantage of his um, aggressiveness and hits that crossing route right over the top of that cover one defense for a touchdown against that man-to-man -man coverage so a phenomenal phenomenal job on the offensive side of the ball so far i don't think fancy's made more than one or two, i mean maybe he's missed one read like he has just this has been just a flawless game in my opinion on his side of the ball and pretty much that's going to seal it uh fancy is going to uh carry q is going to go down and basically he's going to drive down and then Fancy's going to get a stop and uh essentially get a pick six and then next thing you know, Kerry Q is going to come out and kneel this ball game out. Um, but basically, uh, Fancy is going to put it on ice. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right here. So um, this is at this point it's uh, 28 zip, and you see here this is just a nice user lurk over the middle field, and he just Fancy defensively. I'll tell you what, his defense was unreal against this against this Raiders playbook. Because this Raiders playbook, I believe, is one of the hardest things to stop because of how good the run can be from this. And he just did a good job. And you see here, just simple game management, running that inside zone, working that inside zone. Uh, just thought, was so impressed with the inside zone. And I think he's literally just at this point going to clock. Um, he's going inside zone. He's chewing clock. You know, he's trying to get out of there. Um, and he ends up busting another run. And then right here, he's just going to go down. And, uh, and then, you know, see here, he's getting in the red zone. Um, nothing too much here. I mean, it's literally just he's just running every single play and basically just trying to take the clock and get the game over with. And is going to end up taking us three here. And then on the next drive, uh, what you're going to see is Kerry's going to throw the game away again. Um, Fancy's philosophy was basically to make Kerry pass. And as you can see, by making Kerry Q pass, um, it really, you see this amazing, uh, another user lurk right in the middle of the field. And uh, this is what, you know, this is the closeout. And he's going to swag on him, go get himself a nice pick six. And then Kerry Q is going to come out and kneel the ball out. But that is Fancy's offense, um, at least in this game, and how he used it to just demolish Kerry Q's defense, in my opinion. I mean, he was not, he was only close to being stopped one time. And he answered that call, answered that fourth down with a one-play touchdown over the top. So I was just so impressed by the way that Fancy played offense last night in his uh, club championship game. I just was, I just thought it was an amazing performance. I think there's a lot that I can learn and that you can learn from the way that he played offense. So if you enjoyed this breakdown, let me know in the comments if you'd like more of this. Uh, kind of stuff, guys. Uh, we are also doing a New England Patriots ebook. We're in the midst of finalizing um, everything for that right now. And obviously, some of these concepts will be in the guide that we've learned from Fancy. We'll obviously have our own stuff in there as well. But just some really, really good stuff to continue to add to our repertoire and continue to get better learning from the film. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's a copycat league. It's a there's, you know, just like the real NFL and the fact that you can't, you, you, you have to study the film. And one of the best ways to get better, in my opinion, is to watch people who are better than you and try to understand why they're doing what they're doing, how they're doing what they're doing, and what that means for you and what you can learn from them. And I just tell you what, I thought Fancy's offense was absolutely unstoppable in this game. I thought it was amazing. I thought he did a phenomenal job of just keeping this thing rolling 
And so, uh, anyways, guys, if you want to get more of my exclusive tips, high-level tips um, on this stuff, I'd highly encourage you to join our text message membership. It's 100% free to do that. All you have to do is send me a text message. We actually just released a mini scheme to our text message members on another formation in the Patriots playbook, the split close pass formation. So you could kind of combine the trips tied in that you've learned from fancy today with the split close pats, uh, and as well as the a slot, as well as the U trips from D Croft, which we'll be breaking down. I think we did a breakdown on the U trips. Um, but we've got a lot of stuff from the new England Patriots playbook. It's in my opinion, the most balanced playbook in the game, uh, right now, uh, because it has just so many good route combinations. And what's really cool is you add in to your already really, really good offense from trips tight end, you add in one of the best bubble screens in the entire game, the RPO zone alert bubble uh, to it as well. So anyways, guys, that is the breakdown on Fancy and his amazing offense. Um, you heard young, if you guys were watching, you heard Henry, who we're going to be doing a breakdown on him a little bit later, which I thought Henry's defense really stuck out to me. I thought he had the best defense that I have seen yet in the Madden community. Um, and the reason why is if you look at how he ran it and the way he ran it and why he did what he did, when he did what he did, it spoke to his game planning. It spoke to his adjustment, his ability to adjust his defense, I thought was just incredible. And so we'll be breaking down Henry. There's a reason why some of his friends have started calling him Gary Payton, like the glove, because he literally um, can just, I mean, he, his, his defense just stuck to um, his opponent like a glove. He played a great game. But one of the best defensive players, in my opinion, in the community said this of Fancy's offense. He said, Fancy's offense is unstoppable. And um, I just thought that Fancy really showed that in this game. You know, I think last season, you know, Fancy kind of jumped on the scene, but there was, you know, I kind of rewatched some of his older games from the Madden Classic, and obviously had a great finish there. I'm not saying he didn't. What I am saying is that when he played Joke, you could see there was just a little bit of challenge for him in that game. Now seeing him in this year's game, and part of the, obviously the game plays a little bit different. It does favor, in my opinion, offense a little bit more this year than it does defense, but... I was just so impressed with how Fancy kept his game plan simple, executed it well, and um, just dominated this, this game on the offensive side of the ball. So I hope this breakdown gave you a little bit of insight into what he was probably thinking or some of the things that might have been going through his mind, shared some of his amazing route combinations with you, and uh, just hopefully that it can help you a little bit as you try to become a better Madden player. And if you want more tips, go ahead and, again, join our text message membership. It's 100% free to do that. We will have uh, more videos coming today. We have th three more videos planned for you guys today. Uh, we post four times a day here on YouTube. So if you haven't already subscribed, I'd highly encourage you to do that. And almost all of our videos are designed to give you some something practical, something like this, or maybe even shorter sometimes, uh, maybe just a simple route combination or, or, or different things like that. So I'd highly encourage you, if you have not already subscribed, to go ahead and do that. And if you want to talk Madden 24-7 with me and my, the rest of people of my community, our Discord link is in the description. That's a great platform to be able to chat Madden and talk Madden 24-7, 365. We'd love to get you connected that way as well. And if you have any questions between now and our next video, I'd highly encourage you just to shoot me a text message. And last but not least, guys, we will be live streaming our Madden uh, 21 games uh, tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And let me know if you guys need anything. Thank you.